President Ramaswata, welcome. How do the people of East Timor feel about what the Australian government did back in 2004, bugging the officers of your government, a fledgling country in the middle of these negotiations over oil and gas resources? Well, uh, I'm very pleased. Uh, so are uh, other Timorese leaders with the decision by the Australian government, uh, Prosecutor General Dreyfus, uh, we Prime Minister Anthony Albanese, uh, Foreign Minister uh, Penny Wong, to all, I uh, congratulate for this wise uh, decision uh, to drop the case, thus closing a, a bitter chapter in our 20-year uh, relationship system, unless it became independent. What happened in the past on the part of Australia with the bugging, of our offices, uh, the spy on our uh, government uh, during negotiations on uh, by Unden, oil revenues, uh, maritime boundary, the talks, all of that, we leave it behind. We now have a permanent maritime boundary with Australia, uh, medium line uh, to our satisfaction. Our uh, government uh, co pursuing uh, conversations with Australia, with uh, mining uh, oil uh, operators to develop the Timur Sea, uh, Greater Sunrise region. So that's what uh, matter now, uh, make everything easier, uh, far better atmosphere of mutual uh, trust. We are determined to move forward, to expand the relationship with Australia, a very important uh, neighbor and friend of Timor-Leste. Mm. You, you're pleased that the charges have been dropped and you're looking forward. Can you give us an insight, though, just briefly into the depth of feeling in East Timor about what happened back then? What Was there a deep sense of betrayal? Australia was so involved in the in independence push for East Timor and then for that bugging to happen. Yes, we are, we are very pleased uh, with the fact that this case now is discontinuing. And uh, I would hope that uh, consistent with that, uh, that uh, uh, the passport uh, of Witness K be returned to him so that he can uh, travel at will uh, within Australia or overseas, whatever. Uh, Witness K is another uh, uh, victim of this whole uh, saga. If he had not received the order to bug a poor country, he would not have done so. Uh, he has uh, not caused any harm to Australia's uh, uh, regional international standing. Quite the contrary, his action was consistent with the uh, Australian public, Australian society, ethical, moral, high stand the standards. Uh, so, uh, uh, discontinuing the case of uh, uh, Bernaculari please us immensely and all Australians and uh, returning the passport to Witness K would uh, be uh, uh, would be tremendous uh, uh, would show uh, Australia is uh, taller uh, stronger than uh, a petty uh, punishment of uh, a good man who spoke his conscience, who didn't agree with the bargain of a poor, impoverished country. Mm. What, what, just further on that, what do you think of the characters of Witness K and Bernard Cleary? There are some people in Australia who obviously with these prosecutions who thought they were criminals. There are other people who think they are moral and upstanding and even heroes. What, what do you think about their character? Well, you know, in life, in our history, in humanity's history, uh, at times there were great people who always, in uh, facing extreme adversity, risk of their career, sometimes of their own lives, they took what it was for them a moral strength that is higher than uh, political decisions made by temporary political leaders. Bernacoleri with the scale, they are part of these great men and women of history, of the world, of Australia, who uh, uh, thought it was 
uh, more important for Australia uh, that uh, they uphold the virtues uh, of humanity, of justice, and risking their uh, safety, uh, the tranquility of their uh, suburban life, the tranquility, uh, well-being of their own family, their future. So these are great people and I bow to them. Do you think any action should be taken against the authorities who initiated uh, the bugging in East Timor? No, I don't think you should uh, take any uh, action against them. Let the bygones be bygones. Uh, let uh, uh, the case of Bernacoleri is resolved. Uh, the case of Witness K could be resolved simply with uh, returning his passport. And then we all uh, uh, move on uh, to uh, strengthen, uh, to expand, upgrade further Australia into uh, Timor-Leste relationship. Uh, for Timor-Leste, there are no two countries more important than Australia and Indonesia, our two closest neighbors. As president, I'm determined to uh, expand uh, the relationship with Australia and with Indonesia. I'm traveling to Indonesia 19, uh, 18 uh, this month, July, for several days visit for meeting with President Jokoyu and other Indonesian leaders. And I look forward to expand the relationship with Indonesia and I look forward to expand the relationship with Australia. Do you feel you got a reasonable deal in the end with the division of resources in the Timor Sea? No, we are... Uh, uh, everybody in Timor-Leste, those who have followed the case, are elated. Shanana Guzman has been absent from Timor-Leste, uh, being in Europe, particularly in Brussels, in Lisbon. He issued a statement. I spoke with him on the phone. He was ecstatic. He was so pleased. And he has written to Prime Minister Albanese, to Foreign Minister Penny Wong, and to... Attorney General Dreyfus, uh, commending them for their decision. And President Ramos Horta, how careful are the East Timorese now with the setups in their, their cabinet room and um, ensuring that they are as secure as possible? Well, I know I have to say, we Timorese are incorrigibly uh, careless. Uh, we are, we always improvise, we always naive, innocent, and, uh, uh, you know, we don't even bother checking or uh, obsessed with, uh, still, well, you know, I mean, if, if, if someone is bagging our office, well, what much can they hear? <laughs> and, uh, we don't have a nuclear secrets. We don't have any, uh, <laughs> so. <laughs> Uh, they might hear in Timorese politicians bad-mouthing each other and let the <laughs> most of it. <laughs> OK. And uh, President Ramos Horta, what are your hopes in relation to the new government in Australia? Well, I want to see Australian bilateral aid to Timor-Leste significantly increase several times above what it is today. I want to see Australia granting more uh, visas for Timorese to work in Australia. Now, yes, the program is excellent. Everybody happy, Australian side happy, Timorese side happy. Let's increase the number to at least 5,000 in the next few months, year or two. I would like to see more Timorese uh, studying in Australia, particularly vocational training. And I would like to plead with Australia, uh, state governments, federal government, to please provide technical support, some uh, human resources support to upgrade Timor-Leste vocational schools so that our schools can issue certificates with Australian standards. Uh, I would like to see a Timor-Leste and the Northern Territory expanding our relationship in every area possible. For instance, Royal Darwin Hospital could receive Timorese patients rather than we sending them further away to Singapore, 
to Jakarta or to Kuala Lumpur. We spend millions of dollars a year sending patients to uh, these countries. They have superb health system, but Darwin is only 40 minutes flight from Delhi. So I would like to see Australia agreeing to receive Timorese patients who need to be evacuated for uh, treatment in Australia. And what is the amount of aid going into Timor-Leste from Australia at the moment? You say you would like to see that increase several fold. What would that well, aid money? You know, what, yeah. what, what would that aid money go towards? And why is that just? Would that be justified? I would like to see at least two hundred fifty million dollars or yeah, US. So it could be three hundred million Australian every year for rural development to address extreme poverty, child malnutrition, to help us be completely self-sufficient in agriculture, food security, in uh, moving Timor-Leste towards a green economy so that we can uh, transition from a fossil fuel uh, power uh, to uh, solar, to wind, and all other uh, renewable energy sources. Australia could invest seriously and make Timor-Leste a success case, uh, a case study in green economy. We are small, 1.3 million. Australia has abundant resources, uh, uh, financing and know-how, technology. So why not elect Timor-Leste and uh, uh, turn Timor-Leste into a green economy with strong support for us to restore our forestry, our lakes, our rivers, our seas, uh, and produce uh, clean energy for the country. Australia can do that within a period of 10, 10 years, if there is political will uh, in uh, government, in fed federal government and the state government all combined working with us and other international partners. Are you optimistic that will is there now? Yes, I'm optimistic. Prime Minister Albanese is a very knowledgeable of Timor-Leste, very sensitive. Uh, Foreign Minister uh, Paddy Wong uh, and all others in the Labour whom I know for 40 years uh, in relationship with Australia. I first travelled to Australia in July 74 uh, and uh, ever since. I lived in Australia for a few years, uh, travelled all over Australia. There is not a city that I don't know. <laughs> I, so, a big city, small cities, I know all of Australia. I have a great uh, respect and uh, affection for Australians as a people and as the leaders. They're all great people. Yeah, the relationship is strong. OK, President Jose Ramos Horta of Timor-Leste, thanks so much for talking to us this morning from Dili. Thank you. Thank you.